Hey guys, Antfordham here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today we're going to be checking out Snapshot 15W44A for Minecraft 1.9. Now Mojang has announced that 1.9 is about as feature rich as they want it to be, and they're going to just be basically focusing on bug fixing for the next couple of snapshots. But this snapshot, while it is mostly bug fixes, does have a couple of features that I want to talk about as well. So let's go ahead and let's launch right into it here. So the forest biomes within Minecraft now spawn big oak trees like they used to in the old school days of Minecraft as you can see right here. These were absent from the game for like a couple of months to maybe even well over a year or two. But they've been added back into the game because the reason why they got removed in the first place was that they were a performance hit. And now it was figured out why they were a performance hit. Actually it was figured out a long time ago and Mojang just got around to it. It was specifically Grum that fixed this. So yeah. Hats off to you, good sir. So anyways, moving on here, the way that the new custom loot tables works has been like greatly understood between the last snapshot and this one. So the way that Minecraft does loot now is now significantly different. The way that default loot is done is pretty much the same, but now you can add in your own custom loot tables into the world files for your world. So if you run mods or if you have run an adventure map and you want to be able to call on custom loot tables, then you can go ahead and you can do that here. But one of the ones that does exist within default Minecraft is this one right here. So basically what I've set up is uh, I've set up a creeper spawner where the death loot table is equal to a simple dungeon but now there's an additional uh, thing here that says death loot table seed and then I have it set to 31337. So the way that dungeons actually spawn their loot is with seeds so that's pretty cool. So I have created one which is 31337 and this one will guarantee you the same drops every time as will every other seed because that's how Minecraft worlds work. So anyways if I kill this creeper here 31337 will actually give me a gold golden apple, which is pretty hilarious. So there we go. I have four golden apples. Wait a minute. Does it like drop two golden apples? I don't think that it does, but you know what? I'm going to kill another one here. Let's just see. Bam. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And if you want to create your own custom loot tables, that is an option as well. It's just not something I fully understand yet, but I'll try and remember to link to the forum thread in the description below. So anyways, moving on here, there is now a way to resummon the Ender Dragon. And this involves getting a piece of guaranteed loot from a skeletal horse. So for those of you who are unaware, skeletal horses can now appear in vanilla Minecraft. I think it's like something, you know, if you're in a rainstorm and you see a horse, there's like a 1 in 1,000 chance a lightning bolt will strike it. And it will like basically be a trap. And it will spawn like three skeletal horses in its place. Well, what you need is you need four drops actually. So maybe I should like enchant this with looting just to see if I can get lucky. I'm actually going to do that. Let me go ahead and let me get myself an anvil. And let me go ahead and let me get myself a looting book. The maximum looting book. Maximum over looting. Just because I really want to be sure like that this can work. If it can or if it can't, my sword is gone. My, my, my sword is gone. My, my sword is gone. <laughs> well then, I guess we're, we're not testing that. Let's go, let's try that one more time. That might be a bug. Um, and if it is, then that's a good bug to figure out now because I want this to work. Nope. Yep. That's, that, that's definitely, that's a bug. That's, that's definitely a bug. Okay. Well, anyways, let's go and let's get myself a diamond sword here and let's go ahead and let's try this out. So anyways, if I go ahead and I press this button right here, it's going to spawn a skeletal horse. Now there isn't anything special about this. It's just spawn this type of horse. So I'm not like hiding a custom loot table on you guys or anything like that. But if we go ahead and we kill this here skeletal horse, uh, it's, it's trying to eat. It's like, no, you will not kill me. No, I will not be taken out. Well, anyways, it will actually have a guaranteed drop of an end crystal, and the end crystal itself can be placed on both obsidian and bedrock, and it can actually be placed in the overworld if you want to do it that way. So, uh, let me go ahead and let me, you know, throw out a piece of bedrock here, bam, let's go ahead and let's do this up, and bam, so I can go ahead and I can throw these around, and bam, and if you actually place them below the ground, it will destroy the terrain all around it, so bam, as you can see, it pretty much just like insta-destroys everything that's all around it. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's head into the end portal and I'll show you guys how you can actually respawn the ender dragon with this. So yeah. Alright, so as you can see, wow, there's actually a lot of end exit portals that I have created because I've been messing around with this so much. But anyways, the ender dragon is actually dead in this world even though the various, uh, you know, ender crystals are up. And this is going to be a good way for me to actually show you guys something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy three of these ender crystals and then we will get to the actual spawning because it's actually pretty cool. 
So anyways, let's go ahead and let's do this here. Let's go ahead and let's place one here. What you do is you place them at the edges of the various portions of the portal. And now there's going to be an animation that will happen and it will destroy all of the remaining ender crystals and then respawn them. But it will not do it on those three, I don't think. So here we go. Here comes the animation. Bam. There we go. Oh, no, it actually does look like it still destroys each individual spot. That's actually kind of nifty. But yeah, so as you can see here, bam, it's destroying each individual ender crystal. And this is pretty much like your waiting period to get out from the middle of the map so that the ender dragon can spawn all by itself. Because when the ender dragon is ready to go, everything will get destroyed around that area. All of the crystals re will respawn and the ender dragon will start flying around here. And that's pretty cool. And yes, I did try it. You cannot summon a second ender dragon if you do this. I tried. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, let's go ahead and let's kill the Ender Dragon. Kill at E type equals Ender Dragon. There we go. And, yeah. So, if I do actually kill the Ender Dragon off, um, there we go. Bam. I would have to, I would have to, like, replace these in order to spawn the Ender Dragon again. But you can spawn the Ender Dragon as pretty much as many times as you want. Bam. Oh, uh, oh, wow. That's actually interesting. Yeah, if you, like, try and do this and then you punch them out, it's like, oh, yeah, okay, that was clearly a mistake, and then it respawns the portal. So it seems like they even thought of that. If this animation stops, the portal, like, bam! Yeah, it just goes back to the way it was. That's actually really cool that they thought of that. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's head out of here, and, uh, yeah. So I think there's really only two minor changes that I want to go over. Um, pretty much that if you... Oh, there we go. If we wind up going above, let's just go ahead and let's TP... At P tilde tilde 300 tilde when you are above the y-axis of 256 now elements won't appear black though it does appear as if like they'll still blink kind of weirdly kind of weirdly and whatnot but you won't actually like be like you know for example really really dark as if there's a shadow over you for no reason so yeah that's kind of a thing and uh, I think what else is there I'm just trying to think all I know is that golden apples themselves, while they probably didn't restore hearts before, they do restore two hearts again. The regular golden apples, don't know if that was a change, it's just something that I noticed. But uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go over, guys. If you guys are interested in the absolutely full change log, be sure to check out the link in the description below. And uh, that's where you can find the remaining information. I don't think there's too much more to cover, though. So anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Anthem. Uh, can't let them because I can't do them. And I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.